So, Father, I thank you today, Lord, for this opportunity that you have given us to be in your presence, Lord God. Just another day, Lord God, that we're here, Lord God. We're so grateful to be here in this sunshine, in this park, Lord God, amongst all the people who we care about, Lord God. Father, we, we thank you so much, Lord God, because we know that tomorrow is not promised. And we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have this precious moment today with the people that we love. In your name we pray, amen. Hector Gregory Rios, as known as Haj Isam Abdul Hakim, 71 of North New Jersey, passed away in Monroe, North Carolina on April 12, 2023. Mr. Rios was born to Montserrat Padilla and Domingo Rios Acevedo. He was a Muslim in faith and fulfilled Hajj in Mecca in 2009. Mr. Rios proudly served his country in the United States Navy. After his time in the military, he went on to receive his master's degree in education. Mr. Rios retired from the North Public School System, and after teaching many years in health and physical education, he was also the student awareness coordinator. He helped many who were gang members, drug users, those involved with violence, and was an advocate in the DARE program. Mr. Rios was an eighth degree black belt grandmaster in Taekwondo, and he earned a black belt in Hapkido. He liked motorcycles. Above all, he loved spending time, spending time with his family. Mr. Rios is survived by his wife of 19 years, Rosa and his children, Bridget, Myra, Shamia, Lisa and David Rios, and his stepchildren, Joseph and Lisa Martinez, and his 10 grandchildren. His siblings include Johnny, who was 86 years old, right there. William and Jamal. He was preceded in death by his parents, Monserrat Padilla and Domingo Rios Acevedo, and his sister Barbara, also known as Pipia. Also known as Pipia. Pipia. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, uh, God had a plan for them during COVID, so, uh, uh. you know. It's the Lord that knows our first and our last days. So uh, I'm going to ask uh, my friend Muhammad, who did not have a relationship with my dad, but I guess he was so overtaken by yes, my stories. By <laughs> yes. And he came today to be part of this celebration, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hakim, but uh, I was aware of his suffering at his last days. I was taken by how much love Myra had for him, and she still do. Um, you know, a good man, when you see his face sometimes, I never met him, I saw his picture. I was telling Myra earlier, he has such a peaceful face that I didn't meet him, but I see like the brightness and the wisdom of his character through seeing him and for the last month or so or before that I'm aware of his illness and, and suffering so Myra told me about him and I'm a Muslim by faith as well so we just passed the holy month of Ramadan and when you know like somebody was good man that you feel yourself driven to make prayer for him and I was praying for him the whole month when I was fasting just for his well-being and for his happiness. Um, I think he is looking down on us now with happiness and he fulfilled his duties and left us happy and satisfied. And here we have uh, a, state, a statement in the Quran, we said, Oh, the righteous soul, in rest and satisfaction. Come back to the Lord, well pleased and well pleasing unto Him. Enter my paradise among the devotees. So I think he is in heaven now and just uh, I can't say more than he was a great man from the moment that I 
laid eye on him till I prayed for him all month long. May God bless him and rest his soul in heaven. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, my father was a Muslim and uh, he, um, he taught us the Muslim values. He was very respectful. He was a human, very human. Uh, he had a lot of humility. Um, he taught us how to respect people. He taught us how to be humble. He taught us how to open our hearts to people that we knew and that we didn't know. And even though I'm not a Christian, I'm, I'm sorry, even though I'm not a Muslim, I'm a Christian, I respect my, my dad's values. And I still carry some of those values today. And out of respect for him, I'd like to play some. Hispanics and African Americans in the city of Newark in the 70s. 
She's my witness. I'm not lying, guys. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. And this park here, my dad used to practice um, his his um, karate, and he also had his brothers and sisters here, and they used to pray in this park. And that's what makes it so special hmm. to me. Let me add something. I was asking Myra earlier before everybody came, what made you plant a cherry blossom tree? <laughs> <laughs> so she said, whatever that response was, I said, it's funny because years ago when I was 18 years old, that was our first picture he took of me under a cherry blossom tree. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. That was just curious about <laughs> I want to be vibrant like he is. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I thought it would be better. Okay. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Please, please. I talk to all my family. One here and one not here. Please, keep communication with the family. Please, keep communication with the family. It's family. no excuse. It's no excuse at all to don't get close contact because the communication may lost to the other people. Yes. Well, you ever know be the family. You get in trouble with some people. Good communication, good communication, right communication, they bring the love to yourself or to other people. Okay. We live in this world. This world is everybody the same. We have to be like, like a brother. Yes. Don't like enemy. Please take care of your family. Please take care of your family. Please get communication with your family. Because this is where I got my love, Trying. my family. I got my brother right here. And I know he do a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of kids. That's why I was surprised because he, my brother, when really he met my brother, he don't die. He stay in my, in my head, in my brain. Mm -hmm. So Always. please, 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 if you got your mind living, please take good care too. Because my mother told me, Take care of your brother, good communication with your brother, with the whole family. And when I get contact with anyone in my family, I feel low, I feel good. I feel really good when I get communication with anyone, anyone in my family. Please, get the family together. I mean, my family, your neighbor, your friends, whatever. We live in this world, we have to treat like a brother, like a, like a sister and brother, whatever. Please, 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 and thank you again. Amen. Thank Amen. you again. Amen. Amen. We are here today thank you. with my thank brother. You so he, he's always up with the picture, but he's in my heart, in my brain, yes. Yes. in my blood. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, Theo. Love you, Theo. God bless you, Mama. For those who don't know me or don't remember me because I've been gone for yeah. a while, I'm Dawn. I'm Johnny's Dawn. granddaughter. Um, <laughs> what my grandfather is saying is absolutely true. I don't know who remembers when we were little. The only Sam is the one that took, as an example, of family. My father was going through some things, we all know. Little Johnny and I had nobody. The only Sam said, that's not it. The only Sam took me and little Johnny and raised us in his house with Myra and she he took us as and he treated us and raised us as his. Always and built the bed. Yup, <laughs> built us a bed <laughs> from scratch. <laughs> was teaching Johnny all the little karate. Yeah, a whole lot. <laughs> He's the reason that little Johnny and I don't give up on family, even when nobody sees us. But yeah. I'm sorry that we couldn't see him at the end. Mm -hmm. um, funny that uh, my sister asked for this tree because I love trees. Uh, one of my favorite books, if you all want a good read, an easy reader, is called The Giving Tree and it's by Shel Silverstein. So when she asked me, when she let me know that she wanted to do the tree, I, you know I was all for it. So anyway, I don't do phone, I do paper. It's kind of like instilled in my roots that way. Uh, phones die out and all type of things, technology. So here it goes on paper. Pop, this one is for you. Pops is very much like this tree. 
he has instilled in us to be well grounded and strong like its roots. He taught us that in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you come from. Yeah. Instilling in us self-pride in our race and culture. Like its trunk, solid from its core, a trendsetter indeed. The first in our family to do many great things. Attend and graduate from college. Attain a master's degree, becoming a Muslim, and showing us all the ways of that. Yeah. Travel abroad to be part of change. He did go to Mexico and establish and was part of a school establishment that was from the ground. He helped build that school from the ground. I don't know if you guys know that, but fun fact. I never knew that. Yes. Wow. A master's degree, as you know, in Taekwondo and Hapkido. Eighth degree black belt in Taekwondo. His leadership lists and roles are endless. Mm -hmm. And he has always set the bar really, really high. Like the branches of this tree, he reached out to people. He influenced them. And he made his presence felt. Had gone through storms but remained resilient until his dying day. Yes. Next page. <laughs> like its leaves on the tree, we had so much comfort and protection under his shade. Yes. yes. So when you see this tree, or are far away, but can rest quietly by a tree, think of Pop, a man who genuinely cared and gave wholeheartedly yeah. to his family and others all he could and taught us to grow strong and enjoy life yes. to the fullest. Yes. We love you. We love and you. always will. You'll always be with us. Yes. You're in our hearts. Amen. 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 Um, who are you? I'm the last born. Um, you Sam's last born. Um, the baby, you know, came before the the greats like my sisters and you know everybody that came before me. Um, you know, uh, the day the the day that I found out he passed away, I was at work. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, no, not my father. You know, he he he's a fighter. He he fights for you know keeps on going. You know, it it, it took some. It took some time because it's just like, you know, you, nobody wants to, nobody wants to lose their father. Nobody wants to lose any of any, anybody from their family. But, you know, like, 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 um, like in this life, um, there's birth and then there's death. You know, you gotta be birthed and then you gotta die sometime, you know. Um, I remember, he's always with us, of course, but, um. Memory. <laughs> Remember when I first got uh, my apartment right here? Um, first time we saw it, <laughs> he liked it. It was a uh, fixer upper, but I'm proud to right be here. living there. I love that place. You know, I have the park right here. I'm glad that he's right here, so close to me. I could take a walk. I can walk over to him and come visit him whenever he need, whenever I can. You know. Um, my father was a great man. I never thought I'd really be giving the speech right now, but yes. he's a great man. You know, taught us everything we taught us everything we needed to know. You know, loved whoever loved whoever came into the loved whoever came into his life. You know, we had if we had if we had um, significant others that we would bring around the family. You know, he opened them with. Um, he welcomed them with open arms and made them feel like he's a part of the family. So I thank you. I thank you, Pops. I thank you for everything that you taught us. Independence, respect, you know, try to, you know, I hope to one day see you up there. And I hope one day we'll be sitting at a coffee table in heaven, mm -hmm. sipping coffee. I'm I hear you. I'm in. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm Bill Sullivan, uh, and I'm here uh, representing Don Kun Park Taekwondo School in uh, Jersey City, uh, Journal Square. It's been there since 1971, and 
Oh, and Master Park is not here. He's in Texas with his uh, son and his, and his grandchildren uh, for the week. But he uh, expresses his condolences to the family. Uh, so uh, let, let me just tell you how I met Hector. Here we were both in our 30s and we were going to school to learn to be PE teachers at Montclair State University. And it wasn't like today, there were only a handful of people who were over 22 or 23 at, at the university. Wow. So of course we looked at each other and we started talking. And uh, he was from Newark, I was from Elizabeth, I lived in Jersey City at the time. And uh, we both found out right away that we had been in the Navy. And we had both found out, oh, and then, and then we started, we, we kept talking and eventually we found out that we both trained in Taekwondo, but not just in Taekwondo, with the same master in the same school. So, uh, he, I, I told, and I was still training and I still do, I'm going to go teach class a little later, but he, he said, uh, we talked about it, he said, well, I'll come back when I finish school. And he did. And he trained there for, until he, he, he couldn't anymore. And I remember Bridget and Myra were students at Montclair when I was a teacher there, yes. uh, which, which I still am, still working. Wow. And I'm older than him, <laughs> <laughs> two years older than him. So uh, Hector, he was a fix-it guy. He did all kinds of carpentry stuff. And, and the, in the place that we're in now, he fixed the, the apparatus to hold the heavy bag, which gets kicked a lot. And uh, it only broke a short while ago, and we had to fix it again. Uh, in that school, you had to be very stubborn to continue to train there, because it was really hard work. You had to be able to take a beating <laughs> and figure out how to defend yourself. Uh, I remember David was just a little kid. Uh, so, in any case, uh, Jerry Robbins, by the way, uh, who is the uh, C CEO of the Taekwondo Hall of Fame, uh, and also a brother of ours that we trained with, and he called me this morning and asked that I extend his condolences to the family too. So, uh, the last time I saw Hector, he came up from North Carolina for the holidays, and we had a holiday party, and it was clear that you know, he had told me early on, after what was happening to him. Um, you know, we just embraced uh, before he left, and uh, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like to open up um, for anyone or for those that just got here and want to say something in his memory. I know you've come a long way, and your time is very precious, and I respect that. So I just want to open up this time um, for anybody that may have anything to say. Does anyone? No. Does anyone have anything they want to share with Rock. us? Yes, my cousin Rock. Come my cousin on, Rock. Rock is here. Come, Come on, on you can Rock. say something. Two minutes. Come on. Come on, Moon Rock. If, if you Come want, you, just, you don't have to Come, come all the way here. <laughs> if that's Come okay. On, okay. I make it, I'm good. Okay, well come on the tree then. Yeah, we took a couple of toes. <laughs> we all have got family members, some that we look up to. I admire my cousin, Sam. Um, that's what I called him all my life since I was a little kid. All my cousins, all his brothers, all of them. Luke Mon, Yasin, I wouldn't leave nobody. Uncle Jamal, Uncle Johnny, um, Cousin Willie. They all were real tight. Brothers, smart brothers, educated, um, good, good fighters. Yep. Um, a lot of respect for my mother. They all love my mother and she loved them. It was just a beautiful thing to have him as a cousin. That's all I can say. All right. That's yes. all I need to say. That's mm -hmm. all you need to say. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, you pleasure. can stay right there, so you don't have to move so far. We're going to have like, a small uh, activity here by the tree. Right, take a picture, cousin. All right. <laughs> picture time. Uh, hi, my name is, is Gregory uh, Troy Williamson. 
used to be known as Fort Khan, Akram, Rakib. I just, uh, this is my friend, and I just learned about your father today, and I realized we have so many things in common. Hmm. He was Muslim, hmm. I was Muslim. He's a martial artist. I grew up as a martial artist. Mm. I didn't know his middle name was Gregory. Yes, it is. My name is Gregory. Wow. Yes. yes, it is. And I'm quite sure if I got to know this man, we would have been probably like, he would have been like my dad. Mm -hmm. You know, because my dad wasn't there for me growing up. So mm -hmm. I adopted a lot of dads along the way. And I'm sure he would have been like a dad to me. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm sure he would have won your Thank you. model for you, role model for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate everyone's kind words, and I appreciate everybody sharing. Um, because we're all part of my dad's life, even those that didn't know him, I would like for us all to be part of his planting, his tree, the planting of his tree. And I have here, I would like each one of us to come up and place some dirt into the hole and uh, I'm step in the hole like this. Give, the, uh, <laughs> give the tool to the next person so we can all line up. I'd appreciate that. For my dad, Hector Gregorio Dios, I love you and I plant this tree in your memory and I intend to come and spend some time with you here at your tree. Thank you, Dad. All right. She'll do the, Come on, you should have gone there. She'll do the dirty work. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Habla español, tú sabes español también. Uh, this is for you. I'm right here if you need me. I love you till we see you again. I love you. Her name is Myra, too. Yeah. <laughs> Myra's a special. All right, Bendy. <laughs> Bendicion, love you. And I'll see you. Watch over all of us. And I got the girls. Don't worry. Hector, we missed you for a long time, and now you're finally in peace. All right, I never met you personally, but I did get to meet you through your family. Through your family, I see your character, I see your resilience, I see your kindness, I see your love.
Thank you so much. Um, does anyone else want to participate? Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Hang on. Uh, Alrighty. Hold it in the middle here. Hold it in the middle. Okay. Don't touch anything. Got it. <laughs> Again, like I said, I didn't really get a chance to meet this man, but just from what I've been hearing, I know that he would have probably been like a dad to me too. So out of respect, uh, I just want to say to him, Salam Alaikum, Rahmatullah, Barakat, and may you be welcome to heaven and paradise. Peace. Thanks everybody who came to um to be part of this celebration and this moment in history. Um, I just wanted to share uh, something with you guys. Um, he may be gone from the earth, but he's not gone from our hearts. And um, I just want to remember him and release these balloons. In his memory, I'm going to ask my cousin Dawn to release them. Does anyone have anything they'd like to share before we close? Anybody have anything they want to share before we close? Back there? Okay. I guess we love you. We love you. <laughs> Daddy, these balloons are for you in celebration of all the contributions that you made for your children, for the community, for those people that you love, and for those people that you didn't love. We thank you for showing your most precious memories, gifts. Thank you for doing such a great job with us. For those that knew you and for those that didn't, we thank you for, for you. Thank you. And today we'd like to release these balloons in your memory. Ready? Ready? And one, one two, two, and three. We love you. We love you, Daddy. Those are for you. one more thing before we close. My dad had Alzheimer's disease. And my dad was an animal lover, but he loved dogs both. And even in his last days, I used to come to North Carolina and I used to spend some time with him and we would walk out in his yard. And even though he didn't know, like he couldn't actually name the birds or he, he um, responded to the birds through communication and he would point his hand up and he would just whistle back at the birds. And I found that so loving from him. So today, I want to release a bird to signify that you are free. Yes. Hold on, let's get pictures. Be with you. Be free. Be free. Let him be free. Dad, be free. this is for you to keep you company until we get there to be with you. Be free.